I'm gonna show you five easy steps to cook these butterfly chicken drumsticks to perfection. Butterfly chicken drumsticks this good should be illegal. Mm. How to cook the perfect drumstick. I'm gonna show you how to turn this into a perfect butterfly chicken drumstick. So just sit back, grab a drink or two, and let's get into it. We'll be needing chicken drumsticks for this recipe. Chicken drumsticks acquired. You guessed it from Mick, the master cutler out at Gippsland Premium Meat. Now, there's nothing special about these yet. Step one is how to trim these properly. Using a sharp trimming knife, you wanna slice down one side of the bone, making sure not to cut all the way through, and then cutting down the other side. And just taking your time here to push out the meat and butterfly it. You now have a fully butterfly drumstick. And now just do the rest of them. I prefer to dry the skin off before adding any seasoning to my chicken, just using a paper towel. Dab it all over in a consensual way. We are now ready to add some seasoning. Starting on the flesh side, just drizzle over a little oil and brush it all over. Squeeze over some fresh lemon juice and sprinkle some dried rosemary over the top and some dried thyme and a little smoky paprika. And then finish this off with some SPG or salt, pepper, garlic. Sergeant seasoning on board for action. Enemy acquired, prepare to salt. <laughs> Enemy advancing, reloading with pepper. <laughs> they just won't stop, finishing off with garlic. <laughs> now turn them over and season the skin side and then just push them aside and get the barbecue ready. Step two is how to set up your barbecue correctly. And today, I'm gonna to be using this 57 centimetre spherical shaped barbecue, and I'm gonna pair it up with a kettle cone. Why? Because I wanna be cooking at temps of 240 degrees Celsius and above. And how I'll do that is by three quarter filling a chimney starter with unlit briquettes. I'll light them up, and once they're fully ashed over, I'll put the kettle cone in the middle of the charcoal grate, and I'll dump that fuel into it. I'll carefully place the grill back in. Then I'll put the lid back on, opening all the vents, and I'm gonna give that 10 minutes to warm up. For those playing at home, we are using a 57 centimetre non-supportive Weber kettle. Once the grill is warmed up, just place the butterfly chicken legs on the outer part of the cooking grill because this is where that high heat is being forced by that kettle cone. Slam the lid on and grab a drink. Step three is making sure the chicken cooks evenly. And if you didn't know, the Weber lid vent creates a hot spot as oxygen is sucked in through the bowl vent and up and around our food. It is then forced out through this lid vent. So to ensure an even cook, I recommend turning the lid a third of the way every 15 minutes. Step four is knowing when your chicken is perfectly cooked. How do we know though? Because we check it with one of these, an instant read, thermometer and it is reading anywhere over 74 degrees celsius the dark meat on chicken like legs and thighs can be pushed a lot further internally than the white chicken breast what does it mean by cooking chicken to at least 74 degrees celsius it means you've created no death chicken that's right no one's gonna die eating your chicken not killing your guests at a barbecue should be top priority. Today I was cooking with a high indirect heat of 240 degrees Celsius and all up this cook took 45 minutes. Or for those of you who love to follow my beer timer, you're looking at a two beer cook. Cheers. Step five is how to finish your chicken off for plating. Getting off the barbecue would be a good start. Squeeze over some fresh lemon juice and garnish with some freshly chopped parsley. And now shove that in your mouth and enjoy. Now, if you don't like parsley, don't add it. Use WD-40 for a smoother ride down your throat. Smooth.